Hey everyone, Reasonix with Valor Ridge. And the purpose of today's video is to ask a simple question to you. Are you an armed citizen or are you simply just a gun owner? These are not the same thing. And as Jeff Cooper said, owning a gun doesn't make you any more armed than owning a guitar makes you a musician. There are other things that have to happen first. Let's talk about these differences. According to Merriam-Webster, the definition of being armed means that you are furnished with weapons or that you carry weapons. Simply owning it means that you just possess it. So that pistol in the, in the closet of your bedroom or in the gun safe or even in your glove box of your car while you're not in it, that doesn't mean that you're armed. That simply means that you're a gun owner. What I believe being armed is, is that number one, you must have a gun on your body or in your possession within one arm's reach. It has to be loaded, which means that the magazine is in the pistol or rifle and that there's a round in the chamber. Okay, that is the second criteria. And of course, the third criteria means that you, that you know how to use it. In other words, you know when it's appropriate to use it and that you can actually hit what you're shooting at. And the most important thing of all is being willing to do that. And remember, your willingness to get into the fight will always trump your ability to get in the fight, bar none. So with that criteria in mind, let's go ahead and talk about what, what being armed is and what simply owning a gun is. Okay, so the first part of being armed is that you have a loaded gun on your body, most preferably. All right, most preferably it's going to be on your body. It's not going to be somewhere else. All right, and that it's got to be loaded. Okay, so the first firearms handling rule is treat all guns as if they're loaded. So if we're going to treat them like they're loaded, they may as well be loaded. They need to be loaded. A gun without bullets is like an automobile without gasoline. It's simply not going to work. These things were designed to have rounds in them. They're designed to shoot. Uh, they were designed to actually be in use, okay? So if our firearms handling rule, the very first one is treat all guns as they're loaded, load them, keep them loaded, okay? The only time that you need to unload your gun is when you're gonna clean it, and then you should have another loaded gun right there with you, all right? It's not that difficult of a concept to execute at all. It's not hard to keep your guns loaded, okay? Keep them on your body. It's not difficult in any capacity. And uh, these, you know all these problems that we have with people accidentally or negligently shooting people themselves or others is because they're used to handling unloaded guns. All right, so load them, keep them loaded. If you're going to treat them like they're loaded, that's the way they need to be. And end of the story. Recently, I had a discussion with a retired law enforcement officer. All right, and this guy had been on the force for over 30 years, New York City, running and gunning all the time. You know, way more experienced. Did he's, he's done police work longer than I've been alive. And we inevitably, you know, get into the conversation, hey, do you still carry? You know, what do you carry? Oh, yeah, I carry. I said, so you're armed. Oh, definitely I'm armed. Sorry, I'm not going to do the accent, all right? I'm just not. <laughs> but I said, so, you, so you're armed? And oh, yeah. I said, well, you carry? Yeah, I carry every day. I've done it my whole career, and I'm retired now, and I still carry. I said, well, where do you carry, you know, where do you carry? Are you appendix? Are you a hip carry? You got an ankle? You know, what, what are you rocking? And he says, oh, well, it's, it's, uh, it's in my glove box. And I said, so you're not armed? He goes, no, I'm armed. I said, no, 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 you're not armed. <laughs> Last I checked, you know, a Honda Accord was not a holster. <laughs> okay, so this guy thought he was armed and he added his glove box, but he wasn't. He was merely a gun owner at this point. Folks, when trouble starts, unless that gun's on you and it's loaded and, you're, and you know how to use it and you're willing to use it, that gun may as well be a million miles away if you don't have one of those things. So I entreat you, I entreat you today to have a gun loaded on your body, and know how to use it, and more importantly than that, be willing to use it. The difference between a warrior and someone who's not a warrior is your willingness to clash arms with the enemy. Let's talk about recent tragedies that have happened within the past few years. I mean, we could go down the lists. Every one of you knows about these things, okay? We can talk about Aurora, the movie theater. We can talk about Newtown, Sandy Hook Elementary School. We can talk about the most recent ones in Paris. All of these things have something in common, and the common denominator that they have is that good people willingly chose not to be armed, okay? They chose not to carry those guns there. And if someone was armed and had their gun there, if they did have their gun on their body, they were most certainly unwilling to use it in that circumstance. So you've got to have all of those. Let's contrast those poor examples, those tragic examples, let's contrast those with somebody that was armed and was willing to use their gun to stop violence on the behalf of other people. You look down in Texas with those two guys with AKs that are going to that um, anti-Islamic rally. The police officer had a pistol and shot both those guys, that even, and they had rifles and body armor. So a good guy with a gun stopped a tragedy from happening. 
Another example is a mall in Oregon. A good guy had a gun, chose to take the fight to the bad guy, stopped another mass shooter. Those are big differences. And the biggest difference between those situations where mass shootings happened and killed a lot of people and where mass shootings did not happen because good people were there was that one good armed person with a gun made all the difference in the world. So I'm challenging you all out there, be that good person with a gun. Stop this stuff from happening. So the whole point of this video is to understand that you got to be armed and being armed means that you have a gun, it's on your body, it's loaded, and that you are able and willing to use it in those times. That's what being armed is. During mass shootings and other horrible tragedies, folks, bad guys are armed. Let's balance that equation and arm good guys and choose to be armed. Balance that equation out. If you'd like to learn how to use that pistol or your rifle, come on out to Valor Ridge. We'll teach you how to do just that. If you found the information in this video helpful, like me on Facebook, subscribe to the channel. All of that's on the page right in front of you. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.